hello guys welcome to anita crutches my name is anita today i'm going to be teaching you how to make a mesh poncho and it's it's something you can use as a beach cover-up or a cover-up for anything that you want to uh put on and you want something to throw on very very simple to make <clears throat> and very simple to follow through so um so before we get started you can get your tape measure and put it right around the middle of your arm and go all the way up to the shoulders come back all the way across your neck bone your collarbone and then to the other side of your left arm and then go all the way down to the middle of your arm just like where you started that is to just help us um, get the width that we want for our poncho i'm going to show you how and and also to give us um, the chains with which to start with. So first of all, I'm going to be working with Robin 100% acrylic, chunky, and it is 100 grams of weight. So I'll just take this off. And I'm going to be working with a six millimeter hook you can use whichever hook size that you want given the yarn you're using you can also use the lightweight yarn and just double your strands okay that's also very okay and it will also give you a good result because it will give you something lighter so here we go you're going to um make a knot you'll need scissors if you have to and your tape measure also All right, so I'm just going to work on a couple of chains. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. Now I have a hundred chains, and that's what I have started with. 100 chains you can go all the way to 150 just know the larger let me just draw it out for you so you really can get to understand so um this is what we are trying to make okay so these 100 chains is, a, is the distance from here up to here, okay? Is the distance all the way across, all right? So the, the larger your, um, your poncho is going to be, that's the longer it's going to be, all right? So if you're looking for um, a longer poncho, which is also very good and very creative of you, because it will look really really nice more so if it's going to come out for a beach cover-up the the wider you go is the longer you're going to have okay and the more you have shorter um, uh, more like very few chains all across here it's going to be shorter like from the arms because I'm figuring this is where the arms are going to be like that okay so it will come all the way down to the middle of your arms right here and this is how it will come out okay so the longer the better okay so i have worked 100 chains to start with if that's a, a short distance for uh, maybe more like a very short length for you you can just measure like i've said from the middle of your arms all the way to the shoulders across your collarbone and then come back all the way to the left side of your arm all right so measure that if you want something longer you can just measure all the way from your elbows all the way up come all the way down and all the way back to the elbows of the left side okay i guess i have been very clear on that now let's get started i'm just working this because i already have mine complete i'm just working this to show you how to make yours so here we are going to work three chains more okay and we shall work two chains more so we have five chains more of the 100 we already have okay 
of whichever okay whichever chains you already have and now you are going to skip the sixth stitch from the chain hook and skip the seventh and skip the eighth and now into the ninth okay we work a single crochet okay now you're going to chain four sorry chain um five one two three four five skip one two three now into the fourth you work a single crochet chain five one two three four five skip one two three stitches and into the fourth you work a single crochet one two three four five chains skip three three chains and into the fourth chain stitch you work a single crochet this is what we are going to do until we come to the end of our row those are three four five skip three stitches into the next you work a single crochet chain five skip three stitches into the next you work a single crochet you see what we have so just do this all the way down all right now it's up to you if you want um, smaller mesh holes you can just now skip like you can chain uh, maybe like three or four and then skip two and into the third all right if you want smaller chain gaps so just do this until you come to the end of your row Those are five, skip three into the next to work a single crochet, chain five. Skip three, work a single crochet into the next stitch. So let me meet you at the end of your, of your row and I can show you what to do. So once you come to the end of your row, you will chain three, okay? Yarn over insert your hook into the very last chain stitch yarn over pull through yarn yarn over pull through two and yarn over pull through two okay so now you are going to chain five one two three four five make sure you're not chaining tightly because if you do you're going to have an edge that is not so fine so into the next chain gap you will skip this into the next chain gap you'll work a single crochet all right and now chain five and work a single crochet into the next chain gap see chain five work a single crochet in the next chain gap chain five Work a single crochet into the next chain gap, chain five. Work a single crochet into the next chain gap. This is what we have. Okay. Now you're going to do this until you come to the end, chain five work a single crochet into the next chain gap until you come right here into this chain gap and i'll show you how to end your row okay so let me meet you there and show you what to do so um right here at the end of my row and this is how you work your last chain gap you're going to chain three yarn over insert your hook into the third chain stitch or the middle of the last chain gap like that pull through yarn yarn over pull through two and yarn over pull through two okay sorry pull through all so you can see that we have come back right in the middle of this chain gap so literally we have worked a decrease and this decrease you cannot see until we keep working all these stitches up to the end of it so here you're going to chain five one two three four five turn your work into this um next chain gap in the middle of it you work a single crochet work chain five chains 
and work a single crochet into the next chain gap chain five work a single crochet into the next chain gap see that this is how it looks like chain five work a single crochet into the next chain gap so just do this until you come to the end when you're left with one chain gap to go right here that's where I'm going to meet you and show you how, how to work the very last chain gap. So let me meet you there. So when you get to the very last um, chain gap, this is what you do. You chain three like we have been doing. Yarn over. In the middle of um, this chain gap, right there, you insert your hook and pull through yarn. Yarn over, pull through two, and then yarn over, pull through all. Okay? So you can see we are starting to have a decrease. Now here you work five chains. Turn your work, work a single crochet into the next chain gap and continue chaining five and working single crochets into the next chain gaps until you come to the end. And once at the end, I'll just show you once again how to work your decrease at the end of the row. See what you have? You're having a decrease right there. Okay? Now, I'm just going to meet you at the end right here and show you how to work this very last um, chain gap like I have been doing. If you already know the trick, you can just go all the way and work it. So let me just come back, show you this very last, um, for the very last time, and then show you something next. So I'm right here at the end of my row, and this is how you work your very last uh, chain gap. You chain three, yarn over, insert your hook into the middle of this chain gap right there, and pull through yarn, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over, pull through two. So you can see we have a decrease. Now here, you're just going to do exactly what we have been doing for the previous um, rows. You just work, <coughs> you just work five chains, chain five, single crochet into this, and when you get to the very last um, chain gap right here, you will chain three, yarn over, insert your hook into the middle of the very last chain gap, and then pull through yarn, pull through two yarn over, pull through all. Okay, so just do this until you have just one chain gap left like this just one of it so you're going to decrease all the way down all right decrease all the way down until you have one chain gap left and once you do this is what you are going to do you will turn your work now you get back to the foundation chains okay and insert your hook right here into the very last stitch on this side okay Get your yarn, pull through yarn, okay? Chain three. One, two, and three, okay? Now chain two more. One, two. Get right here into this stitch that you, the single crochet you work. Now this time you're working on the opposite side of the foundation chains. You will work a single crochet right into this very same spot okay chain five skip these stitches and work your single crochet into this very same spot of the single crochet on the opposite side okay we are doing this because we don't want to have some sort of like joint whereby you have worked pro probably you have worked this part alone the front part alone and the uh, back back part alone when you work them alone and you want to join them it will sort of like be bumpy or along the shoulders and we don't want that so it is better you just work on the opposite side of the foundation chains so you just have a neat join and someone can a neat joint someone can tell okay this is where she joined it from or this is where it started and this is where it ended all right so you just work on the opposite side of the foundation chains 
Now, um, you're going to chain five. Skip those stitches. Literally, even if you, you don't count the stitches, you, you have to skip. You just have to place a single crochet right where there is a single crochet of the first row of your work. Okay? You see what you have? So before we go on and on, um, first of all, you count the chain gaps you have on the front part, the very first row. So we count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one, twenty two, twenty three, twenty four, twenty five. So we have twenty five chain gaps on the back, on sorry, on the front. And now we shall just try to divide 25 I do a lot of paperwork so so here we shall just try to have 25 so if we divide 25 by 2 we have um, 12 remainder 1 and if we deduct 3 from 12 we have 9 okay so now we are going to count On this side, we are going to count nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, okay? So this is our ninth um, chain gap. And you just mark it with your stitch marker. Okay, and now also get to this side and count nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So literally, this um, this gap that we are leaving is for our neckline. Okay, you can have a wider gap if you had longer uh, um, a longer length from right here up to the end of it. If you have like two hundred chains that you have worked for your start because you want a longer probably mesh cover up. Okay, a longer poncho. You can just still have that. And probably just make a wider neckline the, the wider it gets the cooler because if it is wide and you're looking at just wearing it as a beach cover-up you can just have it off shoulder or you can just wear it like it's dropping off one shoulder you get so the wider you get you have to be very creative when putting it on okay so I have counted nine 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 chain gaps on both sides and i am figuring this is what has to be my you know my neckline okay so basically uh, from the drawing that i showed you guys if you're not really getting this from the drawing i i shared this is the gap that we are talking about right here okay So now what we shall do is, now here when we get here, this is what we are going to do. Remember we have, we had to skip three stitches and work into the fourth. So let's just count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right. Yes. Eight. So eight times four is around, um, now we are going to chain 36 chains. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 
16, 8, 29, 30, 31, 32. Once you have your 32, you are going to get to this single crochet of this chain gap that we marked right there and work and work a single crochet. See what we have? Just make sure the number of chains you have worked are exactly the chains of the front. Okay? So you see what we have? This is our first row of the back. Okay? Now here you are going to do exactly what we have been doing. Chain 5. And single crochet into the single crochet of the previous row. Chain 5. Just do this. Until you come to the end. Chain 5. Single crochet right there. Chain 5. Work a single crochet, chain five. So once you get to the very last um, chain gap, you will chain three like we, we, we did for the front. Yarn over, insert your hook into this, the middle of the first chain gap, okay? And pull through yarn, yarn over, pull through two, and then yarn over, pull through all. So now you chain five, turn your work, insert your hook um, into the next chain gap and work a single crochet. You see? Chain three, uh, chain five, work a single crochet into the next chain gap, chain five. Just do this until we get to this chain, uh, the chains that we worked. And now, like you can see, okay, so here we are going to chain five. And now skip this very first stitch and into the next you work a single crochet, chain five. Now here we are going to do exactly what we did for the front. Skip three stitches and into the next you work a single crochet, chain five. Skip three stitches into the next to work a single crochet, chain five. Skip three stitches into the next to work a single crochet, chain five. Skip three stitches into the next to work a single crochet, chain five. Skip this three into the next to work a single crochet, chain five. Skip three stitches in the next to work a single crochet, chain five. Skip three into the next to work a single crochet, now as you can see I have like exactly two stitches so here I'll just chain five and now just skip all these and now work into the middle of this chain gap the next chain gap across just to show you what I am doing okay so now from here I'm just going to work normally as i have been doing okay so let's just see if we are on track
all right so literally we are on track because like you can see from this um, gap right here if we count one two three four five six seven eight okay we have one two three four five six seven eight okay so that shows we are on track now here you just get your yarn and continue exactly what I have been doing chain five and single crocheting into the next chain gap chain five single crochet in the next chain gap chain five single crochet in the next chain gap now here into the very last chain gap you will chain three like we did and yarn over insert your hook into the middle of this chain gap pull through yarn yarn over pull through two and yarn over pull through all okay now as you can see we have started to work a decrease for our see that we have started to work a decrease for our back part so now here you chain five and do exactly what you have been doing for the front chain five all the way until here when you get here you insert your hook into um when you get right here you work um a decrease by chaining three inserting your hook into the middle of this chain gap and yarn over pull through yarn yarn over pull through two and yarn over pull through all so you work the back part exactly how you work the front all the way down until you have one chain gap left okay now once you have one chain gap left you have your poncho complete okay so now it's up to you to come to uh, probably if you if you still if you can just put it on open as it is or if you don't want it to be open as it is you'll just find somewhere very appropriate um, under your armpits where you will just work a knot just to join the two together the two pieces together to give you that sort of like closure okay I'm just going to elaborate that in a picture so you can get to see what I am talking about and right there if you have that closure you can now add fringes to your poncho i shared how to work your fringes or attach your fringes onto everything that you want to attach fringes to in my tutorial about a fringe bralette so you can check it out if you don't know how to add fringes to um, a crochet piece you can check it out and see how to add your fringes to your poncho so this is my poncho and this is my neckline so what i was trying to mean that you make a knot around the armpits like you can see mine okay this will be a slit okay but just around the armpits you will just get a small yarn and just make a knot right there to join the two and cut it off very very well so this is where my arm has to go and you can just count a few chain gaps all the way down one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen so into the fourteenth on both sides the front and the back you work and not just to join the two if you don't want it to be like super open okay and there you have your poncho complete so you can see where it decreased and where it ended too having just one chain gap left and this is it okay so just work your poncho all the way down and you will attach your fringes right into the chain gaps on the edges okay so thank you for watching once again let me see you all in my next tutorial